Hello everyone, I'm Jessica, and today I'm here with probably the most disappointing buzzword-a-thon wrap-up you've ever seen. This round's buzzword was the word you, which you could use you, yours, or your, and I had three books that I was going to read. I only ended up reading two of them, which is why this is pretty depressing, but it was a week. I read more than two books, I just only read two books with the buzzword in it, and that's just how life goes sometimes. The first of the two books was By Your Side by Casey West. I ended up giving this a 3.75 out of 5 stars. I have read three Casey West books this month. I think this was the second one that I read. It was decent. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I did enjoy it. It was a light, fun, contemporary read, which was what I was going for for this month. So I definitely enjoyed that aspect of it. It was fun. It had some issues, but it was a pretty fun read. The other book that I read was The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson. I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed this book. So this book has your uh, enemies to lovers trope, which I enjoy so much. But this one had like a definite twist to it that you really don't get to until toward the end of the book that just made it more interesting. It also had a lot of very intelligent, highly intelligent characters where they are going to this exclusive school for people who have high intelligence. Like you have to take um, a, a several hour long IQ test in order to get into this prestigious school. And so for that reason, the characters read a lot more adult than they did like teenagers. And so that I enjoyed. And also there was a mystery aspect to this book that I just was not expecting there to be. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it as well. Towards the end of the book, they get into some topics about um, like how your brain works, why your brain likes the people that it likes, etc. Um, which was just a really interesting read. Um, definitely highly loving Lily Anderson at this point. I've read Undead Girl Gang last year. I read this one this year. I still have her other book, Not Now, Not Ever, I believe is the title of that one on my TBR for this month. Probably not going to get to it this month, but definitely want to get to it soon because I've loved these other two books so much. So there you have it. A short, sweet wrap up for my readathon of the buzzwordathon. I really enjoy these readathons, especially at times like this where I really wasn't planning on doing any readathons in the month of June, but it just so happened that I had two books on my TBR that had the buzzword in them, which is kind of the whole point of the buzzwordathon. So the fact that I was able to participate along with the group and still not add anything to my TBR that wasn't already on it. As always, thank you so much to Lala for hosting the Buzzwordathon. It's just really fun and I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to find out what the next buzzword's gonna be. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you enjoyed my face, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything else I have going on in the future and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!